so next one reserved address so reserved address means using we cannot use that address to assign to any devices it should be predefined so what are the reserved address means 0.0.0 next 169.254.0.0 next 127.0.0.0 so this address are reserved address we cannot use this address for example 0.0.0, .0. so we cannot use this address because it is used for default route so next one 169.254.0.0 so it is used for if the DHCP server is failed to assign the IP address to system means that time it will be assigned 169.254.0.0 in that series we can get IP if DHCP is failed to assign IP address to any device so next one 127 I already told you this is a loopback address it is used for testing purpose okay so reserved address is an three reserved address are there reserved address means it should be in standard it should be in predefined we cannot use that address to assign to any devices in the network so first one is an 0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 it's used for default route next one 169.254.0.0 so if DHCP is fail to assign IP address to the system system or any device means so that time we, we can get 169.254. that series IP we can we will get so 127 is an loopback address it is a testing purpose we can use that series okay so IP version 4 is an 32 bit address in IP version 4 we have 4 octet so each octet have an 8 bits so 4 octets 8 bit 8 bit 8 bit and 8 bit so totally we can get one sorry totally we can get 32 bit address next in IP version 4 there are 5 classes are there class A so if it is an class A IP address means so the IP should be starts from 1 to 126 so in this range we can get IP address means that should be in class A so just we have to check out only first octet no need to bother about remaining three octet just first you have to check first octet only so in the first octet the value should be 16 means we have to check it in this table so class A class A means it should be starts from 1 to 126 so 69 should be comes under class A so if it is class A means so the default submit mask is 255.0.0 so that means first 8 bit should be a net ID and remaining 24 bit should be an host ID so if it is net ID means that should that bit should be a constant and if it is an host bit means so that bit should be in changed randomly so next class B so class B means the range should be starts from 128 to 191 so next class C means 192 to 223 so class D means 224 to 239 and class E means 240 to 255 so in real time we can use class A, class B and class C so using these three classes only we can assign the IP address to the devices so if it is class A means so that starts from 1 to 126 so that subnet mask so <coughs> sub mask is used to identify how many bits is a net ID and how many bits is an host ID so if it is net ID means that that bit should be a constant and it should not be changed if it is an host bit means it should be changed randomly so the default sub mask for class A class B class C is if it is class A IP means 255.0.0 
so that means first 8 bit should be an constant so the 255 corresponding binary bit should be an 8 once so first octet 8 bit should be an 1 so the corresponding decimal value is 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 so totally we can add and means we will get 255 if it is class b means 255 dot 255 dot 0 dot 0 that means first 16 bit should be a net id and last 16 bit should be an host id if it is class c means first 24 bit should be a net id and last 8 bit should be an host id so first 24 bit should be an constant it cannot be changed so in ip address in ip version 4 there are two types of addresses are the private ip address and public ip address so the private ip address should be used within an organization <coughs> for example lan network in local area network we can use only private ip address public ip address means it should be used only in wan network wide area network for an example if you want to connect isp means we will get public ip address from the isp so in class a the private ip address is an 10.0.0.02 10.255.255 and public ip address is an 129.255.255.255 and level.0.0.02 126.255.255.255 so in class b the private ip address should be an starts with 172.16.0.02 172.31.255.255 so in public ip address for class b is 128.0.0.02 172.15.255.255 and 172.32.0.02 191.255.255.255 so this should be an public ip address for class b so class c the private ip address should be 192.168.0.02 192.168.255.255 so remaining ip address should be in public ip address so the class c range should be starts from 192.223 so 192.168.0.02 192.168.255.255 so remaining ip address should be in public ip address for class c then last one is an reserved address so the reserved address should be in standard it's in predefined we cannot use this address to assign to any device so that is 0.0.0.0, .0 is a default route and 169.254.0.0 is used for if the dhcp is failed to assign the ip address to any device means that time we will get 169.254 series ip then 127 is an testing purpose it's a loopback address <coughs> so in multicast class d is used for multicast address for an example in ehrp routing 